here in this video we are playing find the minecraft characters so we are big minecraft fans here in the judgment tv house and just look how well this map has been built it really does feel like you are in minecraft the quality of this build and the feel of it is just amazing i'm so happy that i found this game so this game is not overly complicated so it is suitable for the younger players and of course if you're an avid Minecraft fan this will be a game for you. I have ordered the video by location just to help you out trying to follow where I am but if you do get stuck with any of these characters please do drop me a comment I will always try and help you the best that I can. And if I can ask for your help to support my channel if you can hit that like and subscribe. kind of disappointing um, element to this game is that it's not a badge game. You do get badges for the number of items collected, so I think it's like 20, 40, 60. So that would be um, one thing for an update I would include, which would be to make it a badge game. And I will say, I know obviously you can't hear the music to this game in my video, but it is something that reminds me of something like Out of Pirate of the Caribbean. It really would see that kind of film like a pirate film. <laughs> I can't believe I didn't go behind that waterfall to find that brown axolotl but it didn't escape me. There are hints available in the index so I literally just went back and grabbed it. really thought the chest might have opened, that would have been a really great touch. I just can't get over the build texture and the quality of this map. It's just phenomenal. It is like I am walking around Minecraft in Roblox. So here is the first of our items that we need to collect and it is the ender pearl. And another nice touch with this game is even if you log off the game um, and come out those items will remain. So you don't have to go around and recollect them which is really really nice. I've got the sprint on, it may help you to knock it off um, and go into normal mode if that helps you with Obby. So we do need to climb up the tower again and we're finding the obby that's located out one of the windows.
still can't get over this map. I mean, looking at that aerial view again, I mean, I just love these fully immersive games where it does feel like you're in, in the theme of the game. So obviously here it's Minecraft. So we're gonna have to climb the tower again because there is another character um, on the side of it. So for this one, you're gonna have to climb to the roof. I do really hope they update this game. Um, I do. I have noticed that there are some characters that haven't been included yet. Um, so please update this game. I have really enjoyed it. So as the sign says here, you need to find the carrot in order for the hay bale to appear. <laughs> oh, this one is damn cat. So Calico Cat is in this house and the floor is littered with kill bricks. <laughs> I have killed myself so many times trying to get this blooming cat but I have been successful in getting the cat and you need to literally be so careful with where you're walking but you kind of need to turn around and kill yourself and kind of knock into calico and you will get it but I don't think that one should be the level that it is that should be one that's a little bit higher <laughs> it trolled me good and proper Sneak a little entrance into the roof and we'll find gold sheet. some collector's items you need to have in order to collect some of these characters. I will list the items as well as the characters in my video description so please feel free to have a look but again if you get stuck with any drop me a comment I will always try and help the best you I can.
Like, I know that they've stuck to just the mobs um, and the characters from the game, but like, I would be super happy just to find all the items on the Minecraft index. <laughs> so I'd like to see the building materials, the weapons, the food, everything live. Please just update the game, keep updating it, use that stuff. <laughs> So for Pig, you do need to join the group. We're not going to do that, but you can go ahead if you want to collect Pig. Going down now into the cave. under pets that they're coming soon so it will be interesting to see what the pets are. I know in Fire and the Foodkins they've just added an update where you can talk to them. That would be quite a cool update for this game. I've not seen a creeper on this game. That's quite a big character to miss off, find the Minecraft. <laughs> An oversight or on purpose, I don't know. change I would also make just from a mobile user's perspective. I didn't luckily end up pressing it but as you can see when I'm moving around the map my finger is literally hovering over those buttons um, so maybe just move them away to the bottom of the screen or just somewhere away from the mobile user's command buttons would be really good. as I said even though they are there where they are um, and I'm hovering over them it doesn't actually press them so I was quite glad not to have that because that would have been super annoying. It is one of my bugbears with these games being a mobile user. Gollum is kind of hidden very sneakily under kind of spawn and the bridge.
Speciality item to go and get the villager. But whilst I was actually trying to remember which house the villager was in, I stumbled across the bee, so I was more than happy with that. <laughs> isn't in here either the zombie the creeper the villager the witch <laughs> oh more for sounds yeah please consider that for an update Speciality items will be in my description.
fair few of the buildings kind of especially in desert and snow are empty at the moment so aside from the ones that I'm showing you you don't have to go in them unless you're curious so the pyramid you do need to go around the back don't bother with the front entrance because the front entrance area is blank this kind of desert house we have another entrance to another cave this time it feels more like a mine and just what a noob I can't believe I ran into that tripwire <laughs> Oh my god, how to embarrass yourself. Look at that stack of diamonds. I mean, if you found that in actual Minecraft, you, you just literally would have to play in a Minecraft. Yep, yeah. <laughs> I found my stack of diamonds. <laughs> and then I'll come out and find a stash of iron. I think that's iron, or is it gold? So where Zombie Villager is, if the um, if there's cobblestone, there is a lever on the wall. Um, it does slightly twinkle, so you just need to pull the lever, and then the wall will disappear. And um, when I was trying to find skeleton, I hit the lever, and then the wall kind of appeared again. Um, so that's how you will get that one. Into snow now. As I said, a lot of these buildings are empty, so you literally just have to go in the ones that I'm showing you. This is the house where Calico Cat was. Damn cat. <laughs> That's my least favourite character, just for how many times I had to die to figure out how to get it.
again the witch i can just see it as a morph like ha, 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 going around to all the players and like lobbing potions at them <laughs> unlock with a number of characters so we're going into the nether now be another ace morph to float around the map throwing fireballs at people <laughs> that's got to be an update for this game come on <laughs> i'd have too much fun role playing <laughs> in that lava <laughs> I actually stood fully on it but I'm not complaining You know what's missing from here? The lumps of glowstone hanging from the ceiling that you get in another. So the obby areas and the areas that um, obviously I've just had to kill myself there to get magma cube. I'm literally just starting back from the start again. You can teleport back to nether. The teleport does allow you to pick the relevant area you want to go to. from just too lazy to I'll be back. <laughs> moving around now to the end and it will be the end of the video <laughs> the ender dragon so we found the code to the code door just over there that you can see so the next one I don't think is very fair so for golden enderman it's saying in the hint in the index that it's looking at spawn um, however, it's down here where this broken truss is, not looking at spawn, unless spawn is in that direction somewhere, but I did turn around to check and it's just like a black void. <laughs> so that's the only hint that I think is a tad unfair.
and then if we put in the code from the pillar 5588 And there we have it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Take care and see you real soon. Bye.